tell us a little bit about what you do? Um, so I'm Friedrich, I'm one of the co-founders and managing directors of Thrive. And Thrive enables um, data-driven, super individualized care with a single access to the health-related data that sits in consumers' devices of all manufacturers, be it smartphones, wearables, uh, connected medical products, or consumer lab tests, microbiome tests, whatever you can imagine. There's a wealth of data, and we make this accessible for digital health services and farmers out there. So, is it something that I as a consumer would use? There would be information that goes to my doctor or my insurance company. Do I get like diagnostics myself, or how does that look like? We empower this service. So, uh, an end user would only get in touch with us uh, unknowingly. So, we're rather like a, a payment provider in e-commerce, uh, where you're able to use whatever payment you would like to use, the one that you favor. And much like that, we enable the data that users generate with their everyday data, be it um, Google, Fitbit, Fitbit uh, Withings, uh, Apple Health, but also down to Strava and all those kind of things, to use their data from their device within any given setting. We would transfer it uh, sort of um, undercover um, to the service integrating it. But I do opt in as a user. Of course you opt in. So you authorize explicitly by providing your credentials at the service. And then, of course, all the kind of privacy requirements are covered. So we're a German company. There is European GDPR. Um, we only work on the basis of pseudonymous tokens. So um, we basically act securely um, under the hood, if you wish. Sure. Now, you, if you're pulling in a lot of data from consumer devices, is that good enough for a medical use case? There is two... Um, two movements at the moment, two trends that actually support what we're doing. So the first one is the consumer devices are getting better and better. Um, look at the Apple Watch that is incorporating an ECG, there's consumer devices now incorporating blood pressure monitoring, etc. So they are getting more into the classical realm of what medical data used to be. And on the other hand side, we stepwise expand our knowledge about what this more or less unprecise data is actually having in terms of a meaning in a lot of indications. So we are currently involved in five clinical trials ranging from depression to oncology and organ transplantation and there are six further in the pipeline all with the goal to actually prove the value and add sort of validated biomarkers on top of this kind of consumer data. So the magic there is you integrate all of this data and bring it together and do you actually do the analysis then yourself or do you leave that up to your partners? Um, we provide the base stack of analysis. So yes, we, we take out all the huge hassle of integrating these different APIs and technologies. Um, we stack uh, a set of meta information on top of it and then we stepwise add this kind of clinically validated parameters for the different indications. So for example, we just um, finalized um, a clinical trial around depression with uh, incredibly promising results around depression screening and depression assessment just by using a wearable. So this is the kind of data that we add and the kind of value that we also add when it comes to clinically relevant therapies. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.